Good afternoon, everyone. Rivers and bays in Eastern Europe start to freeze. Danube River, port of Vukovar, Venice Lagoon in Italy, icing. Danube River in Budapest, icing. Tiza River, so cold in Bosnia Herzegovina, the river froze even at the rapids. Greece record snows yet again. Coastal areas receiving another 8 inches of snow. Istanbul absolutely paralyzed with 3 new feet. UK on tap for excessive snowfalls. So many people falling on the ice at the hospitals in France are overwhelmed with fracture injuries. Some beautiful bubbles freezing in midair. And please remember to subscribe to ADAPT2030. Blistering cold still continues across Eastern Europe down to the Mediterranean through Turkey. UK on tap for excessive snowfall starting in about two days. Could be record according to the GFS. Snowfall totals out to the 20th looking at least a foot again through Eastern Europe Black Sea area. Rivers in Eastern Europe are starting to freeze. Danube River it's actually at the port of Vukovar in Croatia. The port itself is freezing. Venice Lagoon, that follows with some of the canals in Venice icing over as well. Danube River in Budapest starting to freeze over now. Beautiful images here, crystal clear day. This follows right on the heels of the Voldoga region rivers freezing as well beautiful castle there Tisa river in hungary also freezing over and this sunset bosnia herzegovina canyon rushing water froze at the rapids it's so cold jumping over to greece after this last record snow through yesterday ice and sleet covering everything if it wasn't sleet it was record snow down to the ports and beaches again today. Adding on top of their totals, look how heavy that second snowfall was. Right down to the beaches, towns blanketed. The difference in the temperature of the air and the water, the mist rising off the sea, which is actually warmer than the incredibly cold air. Incredibly beautiful images of snow covering these kind of towns and hamlets. You'll never see this otherwise. It's been over 35 years since they've seen anything like this. And as far as you can see in that photo, it is just snow down to the beaches, wreaking havoc in the coastal highways. This is literally once in a generation storm. Jumping over to Istanbul, absolutely paralyzed they're just receiving another three feet a full one meter of snow everything has stopped across turkey pretty much villages are still cut off their power outages people are freezing to death in the capital city as well the Bosphorus strait is still shut down it is just something that was predicted with the grand solar minimum and when we do look back at the butterfly diagram and the sunspots if we're going clear over on the right side where you can see we're descending into the next 11 year minima, which is the normal. But when we match patterns with the intensity, we have to go back all the way into the 1880s to see something like this. So the intensity of the storms that are occurring right now across our planet seem to be matching on that 100, 120 year mark. You can see the repeating pattern. Our weather is changing. It's not due to CO2. It's due to solar influences on multi-century cycles. It has grand effects on our society and we should be preparing for this right now. France overwhelmed with so many fracture injuries in their hospitals that doctors that have been on call for over 40 years practicing have never seen anything of this magnitude. And to leave you with some incredible beauty here, Czech Republic, bubbles freezing in the air, I'll show you a few more images here. This is absolutely stunning. Little crystal balls to the future. Grand solar minimum. 
This is your crystal ball. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Please consider jumping over to Patreon to support my work while I try to bring reports like these to you. And as always, do your own research. All the links are provided below in the comment box of every video that I've ever done so you can fact check yourself.